Hello guys, how is everyone doing over there? I'm Bows and this is AI for Tech. And this one is for this outer. We started this class lately and we have been speaking about what about CCND. Okay, now we'll come to explain to you what the router does, the effects. And people will see it and will say, What is it doing? Why why should they use this when there's no there's internet they can connect it directly? Oh, that's what that is for a small world small minute network but you need a router when you work when you are connected a very large network for you to avoid some problems okay guys i'll continue that later let's what let's talk about something if you're just joining this what this channel or you just bought it please kindly endeavor to press that red thing that red thing there yes press it click on the subscribe button and what turn on the notification button it is quite important it's for your use so you could be the first person to see my video when i upload the next one okay guys i was talking about the router now before i started let me make it bold so you can see it clearly yeah, i will interact with you what water does okay don't forget to use the word the comment section to as well talk about your concern after you watch this video you don't understand something and you want me to go to explain to you please don't doubt this is a conversation and i will reply you and tell you everything you need to know okay a router is a network device that forward data packet between the computer network data performs the traffic directly function on the world on the network data sends to the internet such as a web page or email it is a it is the form of all of data packet the packet is a typical forward from one router to another rather to the world to the network that constitutes the internet network. okay guys so i won't say this in a lot of english let me explain what this thing is saying here what this thing is saying is that what this router is like a what it's like a load carrier it's one that carries the most pain it has a lot of load and you want to distribute it out okay it's the one that collects what the packet from that thing you call ISP service provider, from that thing that you call internet, is the one that carries it, that carries the core information and try to distribute it to those who need it. Who are these things that need it? Is the ports. Some people call it ports. Okay. Some people call it node. Oh my god. Okay, guys, I don't want to be too technical here because the reason why I'm here is I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission for you to understand better what technology does. Okay. Now, the router, I see, when I was talking about node, I was talking about uh, host. Okay, I was talking about computer, actually. You mean your computer that you are using every day, that you are using every day to carry out your daily activities. Okay, what the router does is that it sends the word, it makes sure that word, that each and every word, every computer has the word, has a necessary packet for them to use over the network, for them to access what google.com for them to access facebook.com okay for them to be able to communicate via the internet and shape what is going online or for them to carry out the day-to-day -day activities a lot of application that a lot of what companies use like the banks they use a uh, crm you want to use a crm you want to connect you want to transfer and all those things the internet is needed and that's why bank mostly network a very solid one i'll use a bank as an example okay guys you just go there you will see a lot of devices you know, inside one container that is not a container it's a rack system a rack system is where you work where you input all your work for your gadgets so that there won't be any issues or there will be a proper layout of your work of your topology what do i mean by the topology is a design that is laid that is laid for how the world how the network should be okay i don't want to do i guess I don't want to show you I know it. That's not the reason why I'm here, no. I just want to make you to understand the information I'm passing to Okay, I said earlier on that the data is what is a good carrier. Carry and distribute everything. That was what all this word here. All this word here is saying. Okay, guy. Now depending on the type of network you want to do, is when you need the data. If you are still only one person using it, well you can buy a model. Connect it to your what? Connect it to your, to your network. If it's still four to five computers that you want to or you want to connect, 
then you can get just a switch okay i don't want to digress too much because the only thing i was i'm yet to talk about i'm on a mission to go to back is the word is the router the router is needed in a very large network in a very large network when i say very large network then in the next in the next 20 minutes you understand at the end of the day what welcome does a very large network like that network that you are seeing you see banks you see a lot of computers in the bank oh. then you need the other don't doubt it when you check that server room i'm very sure you see a lot of work like that because they don't want what number one they don't want time to occur in the world in their network what did that mean by jam jam is when one computer is what trying to access packets another one is trying to access packets at the same time don't you know that the jam has occurred the jam has occurred in the sense that they are trying to work they are trying to is to collect traffic at the same time and that's why you see oh you started seeing those test people shouting this network is not going you can call the it person oh you will see all those people shouting come and do this thing come and they will be dragging you left and right oh you never experienced it oh come and do this one come and do that come and do this oh this one is not working they will not start dragging you and that is why you have to work with the large network large network whether you have a three to four routers this is mainly what router does like three to four network to create a large network so there will be what there will be a segmentation you can want to create it that okay this is for IT department and this is for what accounting department this is for what this is for uh for the customer service you know you segment it definitely when you are segmenting a what a network the department one department will be able to access the department uh, the file of what of okay let me not say file let me say computer you the, the, the department this is an IT department and this is an accounting department the accounting department will be able to access the what the computer of the world of of the accounting department okay let me say the accounting department will be able to what to access the computer in what in the IT department and the IT department will be able to access the computer in the HR department. This is what router does. And that is what the segmentation is to build a large network. They are really connected together. When we get to the real cool thing, when we get to verticalizing it, you then understand what how important that is. In the world in the network, if you don't see router, then there's an issue. There will be a lot of issues and it will be a pain on the work on the network administrator simply because they didn't provide efficient tools to what to set this up you've seen this router here the router here is not actually what i'm talking about here this router is just a new modern router i'm talking about legacy the old routers these old router are what are cisco routers in which i'm going to show you a lot of protocol a lot of symptoms confronting the routers oh my god i'm going to blow some people's head up here like I'm sorry when I say that. Like I'm going to like explain those symptoms and show you some configurations for you to understand how this thing works. Okay, guys, so that I won't what I won't spend a lot of time here. Now, you got as a physical or virtual appliance that passes information between two or more packets. I already said it. That is a load carrier. That's what it does. Okay. It is a position where two or more network meet at each point of presence of presence on the internet under the router might forward a single packet as it moves from one network to the next on the world on the way to its final destination what is the final destination that final destination is to the computer it's sending from what from that source that's so that lack system that, that is linked is made for the information to reach that source so that you'll be able to access it now a router is a common type of gateway when you're passing the gate you have to enter it so it's a gateway it is position where two or more network meet at each point of presence on the internet under the router might forward the same packet as is moved from one word one network to the next only to its final destination in the open system interconnection osi module is in the world is in the third layer which i explained to you in the last class okay 
traditional router as stand alone device that use property software is considered a virtual router the software instance that what that perform the same function as a physical router now how does this router work before i explain how this router works virtual router typically run on a commodity server either alone or packed with or virtual with other virtual or virtual network now how does this router work? A router examine a packet at that destination. Destination. Destination is the IP address. You want to locate the IP address. The IP address is what it needs to pass that packet to. So that all those computers will be able to access what? Access network or internet rather. Now this router collect the traffic from what? From the from the internet, then distribute it towards to all computers in that world, in that network. A router examine the packet at that destination IP address and compares it against a routing table to determine the packet best next. Routing table lists direction for what for forwarding data to particular what particular network destination. So that in context of other variables like costs, the amount to an uh, logarithmic uh, set of rules that calculate the best way to transmit traffic towards what towards any given IP address. Now the IP address that we are talking about here is the IP address if you check my previous video which I what which I uploaded which is what understanding IP address then you will know what what it does. Now it sends this information to this IP address so that it can get connected online. You'll be able to access everything you need to access you'll be able to send file file and services like the banks, they need to watch to send information. They need to use that 360 Office 360 to watch to send of the exchange to send mails to each each branches. You when they are saying each each branches locations are far, so they need this thing to go to be available, and that's why they use the word they all use a standard word, standard network, which is what which is Cisco network. I will show you how it looks like in this video. A router what a router table often specify a default route which the router uses whenever it fails to find a better forwarding option for a given packet. For example, the typical home office router directs all outbound traffic along the same default to its internet. Now, just as either plane has a unique destination and follow a unique route, each packet needs to be what to be guided to a destination as early as possible. In the same way that a year traffic controller ensures that what the plane reaches the destination without getting lost or suffering, a major disruption along the way, the data helps direct the data packet to the destination. You know, I said this earlier. I said it make sure that what make sure that you have a router if you are connecting a large network because it's the only way that you work can have a safe delivery what, of transfer from one branch to another. You are sending me. It's a that will make sure that that mail reaches other branch that is in another location. Can you see how what our network works? That's how network does, and that's the function of the router in networking. Okay, guys, move it. What are the different types of routers? We have a wireless router. A wireless router uses Ethernet cable to connect to a modem. It distributes data by work by converting packet from binary code into a, into a radio signal, then wirelessly broadcast them using antennas. Wireless router do not establish LAN. It does not work with LAN. It does not work with LAN. Instead, they create W word W L wireless local area network. Which connect multiple devices using the wireless. The wireless does not work, does not normally connect with LAN. When I work them by LAN, look at your network. When you use an Ethernet cable to connect from what from the network to the world to your computer in order to access internet. That's what the LAN is. But when you're talking about wireless, wireless you don't need any wire, you just need to connect to what to the Wi-Fi and you are you're getting access. Data which are what which are old legacy. You have to use the syntax to set up the wireless 
to, to in order to get the wireless access but in a t link dp link tp link d, d link router you don't actually need that you just need to what to just do your normal settings and once you own the wire the the modem this modem i'm seeing here that you are seeing here as well once you own it you'll be able to get access to what to that network that's what wireless network does okay the wired wire is like a wireless router a wired router also uses an ethernet cable to connect to a modem and then uses a separate cable to connect to one or more devices within the network create a LAN and link the devices within within that what that network there's one that i'm not showing you here i know everyone knows it but people like cisco cisco device is the most what is the most prominent and good legacy network is it of old that's been what it has been in existence but people a lot of people go for me simply because of the coding and the sentence most people do not understand it and that's why i'm here okay in as much as the world, in as much as YouTube is available, I'm, as well, I believe I'm going to take my time to explain those things to you as soon as we start the particular side. I just want to go on to the world, the joy, so you all can work, you can understand. And those who don't know what, who don't know CCNE, I mean, theoretical part will be able to have understanding when I start when I start the practical aspect. So I really want to spend time teaching you the CCNE. As well, if there's any word protocol or update on server, I will surely what I'll surely do that video and I will upload it for you. Okay, now that is what that is router for you. Now router routing. Okay, you'll be thinking what why routing? Now I was talking about router and I said routing. Now what router does it routes like it's searches who need information who is that computer that needs information who is that computer that needs to what that needs to access the internet who is that what that computer that needs information that that carries now the process the protocol is routing and that's where what routing comes out router routing the protocol that thing that it does it needs to keep searching that thing that router does is what is routing is routing any information in order to make sure that the what those computer have the available packet in order to get access on what on the internet network routing is the process of selecting a part across one or more network the principle of routing can apply to any word any type of network from telephone network to public transportation in packet switching networks such as what as internet routing select the path for internet protocol IP packet to travel from their origin to their destination. These internet routing decisions are made by what specialized species of network are doing called router. Can you see? I already explained to you what this means. Is it just a protocol? Is the process what that router is doing is routing, is searching for what? Searching for searching for computer that need information so that it can be able to go to deliver the packet to them and they'll be able to get access on what online does what routing is now on the next one now you could see the triangle see how that diagram comes up for a data packet to get from computer a to b should it pass through network all this is for you to understand what data does all this thing i'm explaining is the data that is doing them for a data packet to get from computer a to b should it pass through network one two three and five or network two to four the packet will take shorter path through the network two and four but Network 1 and 3, 5 and 5 might be faster at forwarding packets than 2 or 4. These are the kind of choice network router constantly makes. Okay, that is the word the protocol. And if you don't set this protocol, there's no way you'll be able to work to get effect results. And that is why CCN is well, very important to learn. I mean, the coding part of it, you need to understand how to set this up, how to set this protocol so that I can give you the word the best result that you need okay you could just what think of how you can send an information from one to five you even think of it yeah i was talking about the uh, it network i was talking about those jargons then okay it network uh, uh it network i don't know it 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 department accounting department you can even i was telling you that you were you know you won't be able to what you won't be able to communicate to other department okay this protocol that takes this day 
it was the sentence that was what that was putting that was launched into that water that make the word that make them not to communicate okay now let's think about the uh, the the uh what is it called the accounting department is using only one router the one different router the uh what is it called the IT department is using only one word one router okay do you know that you can actually do it that this uh what is it called this accounting department will be able to communicate to that word to that IT department is this protocol that they use, and this is where routing is very, very important. Those protocols I will teach you one after the other. That's how I will analyze it, I will break it into a code. Since YouTube is here, I will just flood it. I will do it in videos. I will do those using packet tracer to explain to you. It's the same way I do it in packet tracer. This is the same way you do it in what in real life. In case you need it, you can just what go and in and in. Now this is what routing does it just makes sure that what message what message gets to the right what to the right um, part okay your boss can just call you something okay i don't want this this um this uh what is it called this i uh, accounting department is really what is really flooding us with the flat pipes i mean i don't understand they will just get into the and started flooding us with the, with the files we are seeing a lot of the file in our in our computer in our workspace and we don't want it we don't want to be able to communicate with them we don't want them to access our own file this is where and it's the protocol that you will bring in into that into that thing it's the protocol the protocol is what i will what i will show you in the next future the protocol work hand in hand and it's what it will be effective based on what you want it to do you said the protocol that's what Galton does, and that's what this what diagram is trying to tell you, and that's what is explaining. Okay, I want to communicate to this person. This is not who I want to communicate with. In the same network, you can decide who you want to communicate, which department you want to communicate to, and which department you don't want to communicate to. Since the applause is complaining that is affecting it, you as a world network admin should be able to work to set up things, and it's only really routing that will help you, and it is the protocol. Okay, I was talking about the protocol. Are the set of divine rules used by the router to communicate between source and destination they do not move the information to the source to the destination it is the router that does that but only of this the routing tip that contains the information can you see that and the router protocol helps you to specify way router communicate with each other oh my god i've already explained this which i don't even need to work to go deeper now in words by type of routing protocols there are mainly two types of network routing protocol, which are the static and the dynamic. Okay, now I was explaining to you in what in the IP addressing. I said static means what you are manually or manually connecting the word, connecting the IP address to communicate statically with an IP address that you assign to it, and dynamically, which I said is you obtaining the IP address to a DHCP server. To give you a pool of IP address in order to get access online. Really. Now, the same way the world the protocol has the word as a configuration in the way that you can work connect statically and work connect dynamically. That's what what the routing protocol does. In the same way that it does. I hope you understand. I'm moving on. All right, guys. Static routing protocol. Static routing protocol are used when an administrator manually assigns depart from source to the destination network it offers more security to the network advantage of it no overhead on router cpu no unused bandwidth between the links only the admission is able to add router the disadvantage of this word or this static open the admission must know how each router is connected not an ideal option for a large network as it is time intensive Whenever link fails, all the network goes what fucking down. I'm sorry, the word. I'm using the word F. It's not feasible in a small network. That's what that's what the static and the routing protocol does. Okay, guys, I'm moving on. I'm still moving on. Can you see what this thing I'm saying looks like? This is the word the legacy. This is how the legacy looks like in the packet tracer. See, can you see how it's been I will make sure I show you how this thing works. I have some complicated for me to this. I am having a different network. 
that are showing themselves. They are showing themselves, showing themselves. This is a different network, and this is a different network. This is another different network. This is what you can say. This is three different what department. Now this is IT on on a very large network. Don't forget that you can segment it. You can break that large network into the what into a smaller network. It all depends on what on the protocol, the configuration you put in. Is what you tell the Cisco to do is what it's going to do. In as much as you want, you know the code to use. Is that code me I want to give you? I want to make you to understand it now on that part that I will show you. Alright, guys. I was talking about the dynamic routing protocol. Dynamic routing protocol are another for important types of routing protocol. It helps what router to add information to their routing table from connected router automatically. This type of router this type of protocol also sends out topology updates whenever the network changes to topology car structure. When I say topology, topology, I mean design. It depends on the design that you want that you want. You use the protocol. And the design brings out what you want, what your result will look like. Now, advantage of the dynamic easier to configure. It will be dynamically able to choose a different route in case if a link goes down. Can you see? It can both into another. It helps you to do load balancing between multiple links. The advantage of it is that it updates are shared between router, so it consumes bandwidth. Now, well, but in as much as you are getting results, you don't need to be what you don't need to worry about your data. data, 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 data. Now, routing what routing protocol puts an additional load on the router, CP or what for your RAM. That's what it does. So when you are setting it up, you need a very high what high version of what of a RAM, and your CPU must what must be always cool. You need to put fan. I mean, in fact, if water, if you can just use an advanced what advanced cooling fan, to work better, to not get issues along the line. And this is how dynamics looks like. Dynamics what configuration. The IP address is given what automatically. Okay, I'll show you everything in next vision. Okay, guys, I think I will be rounding this class off. I won't explain switching. So you could wait the next class and I will explain switching. Thank you for staying with me. Don't forget to what to like and share this video to what whoever needs it. Wait for my next video, which is what the switching which is right there. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. See you until the next.